hope you all are fit and fine at your place in our previous class we have talked about the different types of plants according to their stems today we will discuss one activity that is to observe the conduction in a stem now what it is and how it is how it is happened so for this activity you need a flower that is of white color and you need a water that is uh, water and you need some ink you can take any color ink here i have taken blue color ink fine what you will do you will cut the stem of the plant flower and keep it in a this colored water fine this water is colored whenever you just put this stem and cut the stem in this colored water then what you will observe you will observe the color of the white leaves of the plant is started changing why because from the stem the conduction happens this you can also see in the same activity given ahead it moves up with the help of stem materials required dropper beaker with water tender twig of balsam with white flowers red ink blue ink knife method a take a beaker with some water and put a few drops of red ink in it take a tender twig with leaves and white flowers and keep it in the beaker for 8 to 10 hours after 8 to 10 hours you observe red colored lines through the stem leaves and flowers it indicates that water moves up through the stem but how does water reach other parts to find this cut across the stem and look for the presence of red color red color is present around the periphery of the stem in small particles in a ring the small patches in fact are the narrow tubes present inside the stem method b take three beakers with water now add a few drops of red ink to the water of beaker a keep one branch of tender twig in beaker a put a few drops of red ink in beaker b and blue ink in beaker c take another branch of tender twig and split it in half way along its length put the two ends in the water in beakers b and c observe them after 8 to 10 hours after 8 to 10 hours you observe slightly red color in flower of beaker a and in half portion of flower of beakers b and c while half flower of beakers b and c will appear bluish in color it indicates that water with color moves up with the help of tubes present inside the stem along with water minerals dissolved in water also move up in the stem from the stem the water and minerals go to leaves and other plant parts now we will study about the next part of the plant from the shoot system that is leaf leaf you know that is a flat green colored fine so what leaves are they are the main you can say that the main part of the plant which helps for the production of food so what leaves are they are basically the flat green parts of the plant and they are the food producers next from where the leaf arises they arise from the nodes of the stem about nodes we have already talked about in our previous class the main parts of the plant main parts of the leaf are leaf blade or lamina fine about this we will discuss in detail the next main part is mid rib the center portion that is the mid rib this one is known as mid rib this whole by a uh, green color this whole green color flat body is called leaf blade or lamina 
This is the thin stem you can say that is known as petiole and these thin these thin type structures they are known as veins or you can say that lateral veins. Now we will discuss about these one by one. Now we will see the different parts of the leaves in detail. So the first part of the leaf is that is leaf blade or lamina. Basically it is the flat broad green portion of the leaf. As you can see here I am drawing this shape of the leaf. This green colored body that is known as leaf blade or lamina. Fine. Next is midrib. Midrib is it runs through the center of the leaf. Fine. Within the center of the leaf if you can see if you can also observe this in this center this runs through the center of the leaf that is known as midrib and it continued with the petiole. This is petiole and they both are in continuation. Fine. Continuation means one after another and it is continuation of petiole. Next is petiole. Now what this petiole is? Petiole is the stalk, this stalk which attaches the leaf to the stem. If there is a this stem is there, this petiole is, it is the portion which attaches the leaf with the stem. Fine. Next are lateral veins. This is very very important what lateral veins are. You can see some thin tubes in the structure of the leaf like this. Very very thin structures. Fine. So these thin structures they are known as thin, thin tubes they are known as lateral veins. Now from where they arise? They arise from the midrib. From midrib. Fine. Next is very important new term for you that is venation. Now this venation is what? It is the arrangement of the veins. Arrangement of the veins in leaf. कि लीफ में जो वेन्स हैं वो कैसे अरेंज हो रखी हैं उनको हम क्या बोलेंगे विनेशन ओके सो वी आर हैविंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ विनेशन फर्स्ट वन इज पैरेलल विनेशन इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम द नेम पैरेलल मींस द वेन्स आर लाइक दिस इन अ पैरेलल वन आफ्टर अनदर एग्जांपल ऑफ द लीव्स व्हिच आर शोइंग द पैरेलल विनेशन इज ग्रास वीट एटसेट्रा फाइन Next is reticulate venation. Reticulate venation. What reticulate venation is? It is a they forming like a net like pattern like this. Like this they are forming a net like. Here I have also drawn like this. Okay this is a net like pattern and this net like pattern is known as reticulate venation. Okay so which types of plants they are showing the Reticulate ven venation examples like mango, bean leaf, etc. etc. So what we have learned? We have learned about leaf that it is a flat body of the plant and it is basically responsible for the food production. Food production. Fine. And the bas basic parts of the plants are leaf blade, midrib, petiole, lateral veins. And what venation is? It is the arrangement of the veins. So we are having two types of arrangement. One is parallel venation and second one is reticulate venation. Fine. So there are also more about leaf. So that we will discuss in next lecture.